exploring the world of dinosaurs. It was a warm afternoon, and Max was digging around in his backyard, pretending to be a great explorer. Suddenly, his little shovel hit something hard. He brushed the dirt away and found a strange old map. Max, curious, what's this? It looks like a treasure map. Just then, Fairy Lily appeared, her golden hair shimmering in the sunlight and her green skater dress with leaf-like patterns flowing gently as she hovered above him. Fairy Lily, smiling. Hello, Max, what have you found today? Max held up the map excitedly. I think it's a treasure map. Look, it has pictures of dinosaurs on it. Fairy Lily's eyes sparkled with excitement. Oh, this isn't just any map. It's a magical map that leads to Dino Land, a place where real dinosaurs live. Max's jaw dropped. Real dinosaurs? Can we go there? Fairy Lily twirled her wand and a glowing portal appeared in front of them. Fairy Lily, grinning. Hop in, Max. Let's explore the world of dinosaurs. Max didn't need to be told twice. He jumped into the portal and in a flash, they were in Dino Land. Max found himself standing in a lush, prehistoric jungle filled with enormous trees, colorful plants, and strange sounds. Max, amazed. Whoa, this place is incredible. Just then, a small friendly dinosaur with a long neck peeked out from behind a tree. Fairy Lily, Max, meet Tiny, a baby Brachiosaurus. He's very curious, just like you. Tiny, cheerfully. Hi, Max, wanna come explore with me? Max, grinning, sure. I've never met a real dinosaur before. Tiny led them through the jungle where they saw other dinosaurs grazing peacefully. Max noticed that some dinosaurs were eating leaves from the tall trees. Max, pointing, why are those dinosaurs only eating leaves? Fairy Lily, those are herbivores, plant-eating dinosaurs. They love munching on leaves just like Tiny. They continued walking until they heard a loud roar nearby. Max froze in his tracks. Max, nervously, what was that? Fairy Lily smiled reassuringly. Don't worry, Max, that's just Rex, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. He's big and loud, but he's friendly too. Rex, a large but friendly Tyrannosaurus Rex, appeared from behind a rock. He had sharp teeth and tiny arms, but a big, cheerful grin. Rex, roaring softly. Hello there, little explorer. I'm Rex. Don't worry, I only eat meat, not kids. Max laughed nervously. You're huge, and you eat meat? Fairy Lily nodded. Yes, Rex is a carnivore, which means he eats other animals. But in Dino Land, everyone gets along, so there's nothing to be scared of. Rex lowered his head so Max could pat him. Max, grinning. You're actually pretty cool, Rex. Tiny led them to a large open clearing where they saw flying dinosaurs soaring high above the trees. Fairy Lily, pointing. Those are pterosaurs. They're not actually dinosaurs, but they lived at the same time as dinosaurs. Max watched in awe as a pteranodon swooped down, its wings spread wide. Pteranodon, smiling. Hello, Max, wanna take a ride? Max's eyes lit up. Really, I can fly? With Fairy Lily's help, Max climbed onto the pteranodon's back and soon they were soaring above Dino Land. He looked down and saw the entire prehistoric world below him. Max, excitedly. This is amazing, I can see everything from up here. After the flight, Max and Fairy Lily landed near a rocky area where some dinosaurs were digging. 
Fairy Lily. Max, this is where dinosaurs help us find fossils. Fossils are the remains of ancient creatures that lived a long time ago. Max watched as Tiny carefully uncovered a fossilized dinosaur bone. Max, curious. So, this is how people learn about dinosaurs? Fairy Lily nodded. Exactly. Paleontologists are scientists who study fossils to learn about what life was like millions of years ago. Max picked up a small fossil and smiled. Maybe I can be a paleontologist someday. As the sun began to set, Fairy Lily waved her wand and a glowing portal appeared once more. Fairy Lily. It's time to go home, Max. But don't worry, there are always more adventures waiting. Max waved goodbye to Tiny, Rex, and the other dinosaurs. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for showing me your world. With a final wave, Max and Fairy Lily stepped through the portal and found themselves back in Max's backyard. Max, smiling. That was the coolest adventure ever. I learned so much about dinosaurs. Fairy Lily, hovering. Remember, Max, learning can be an adventure. You just have to explore. Max picked up his toy dinosaurs and started lining them up, pretending they were real. He couldn't wait to tell his friends about his magical trip to Dino Land. Now, Max and Fairy Lily have some fun questions for you. Let's see if you can answer them.